All right, guys, in this video, we're going to be talking about going through the entire process from flipping, not flipping, from posting an ad to going through the negotiation to buying the phone, uh, negotiating while you're there to buy the phone, bill of sale, and then eventually taking it home, listing it, and selling it. Okay? So I'm going to try and make this as short as possible because I know... Um, everybody's time is important so we're gonna do this kind of quick so we're gonna go to Facebook Oop, wrong one I'm gonna go to Facebook we're going to go to uh, I live in Southeast Texas so we're gonna go to what I do I don't actually put it in for sale I put it as a, I start a discussion and what I do is I say cash for smartphones and electronics cash is paid seven days a week most conditions are accepted call or text for a free quote Okay, and then I'm just going to add a quick picture. Uh, let's find one. Um, I got some in here somewhere. Ah, here we go. This is a good one. All right, so, oh, and of course, put your phone number in there. Um, don't call my phone number, please. This is my business number. I usually just accept texts on it. All right, so cash for smartphones and electronics. Cash is paid seven days a week. Most conditions are accepted. Call or text for free quote. Then just put your phone number and put a picture. That's all you need to do. Post it. All right, it's posted. And bam, that's it. That's all you do. So now what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to find a conversation real quick. I probably got, uh, I got a few somewhere in here. Uh, oh, here we go. This is actually one right here. I'm picking up this phone later today, actually. I've been negotiating back and forth with this guy for a little while. So he says, how much for iPhone XR? I'm like, any issues with it? No, it's brand new. Just bought it to get the X Max. Um, so whenever he said brand new, I made it a point to ask him if the plastic is still on the screen and do you have the box and accessories? When they say brand new, most of the time in their idea, it's like two or three months old is brand new. That is used. You cannot sell that as brand new, right? So he said, I used it. I have a screen protector on it. I have box and accessories. The phone is about two months old, white, good condition. What company? AT&T. And bam, I hit him with an offer right away. With AT&T, I buy him for $300. And he said, okay. And he said, want to meet up today? I don't know. I have to see because I paid $750 for the phone, so I'm losing big time. And the phone is, there's nothing wrong with it, blah, blah, blah. I totally understand how much you're looking to get. I got to get about $450 to $500. I totally understand. It's a great phone, and I'd love to give you that much. But with where it's at in the market and only working with AT&T, I'm unable to buy it for that price. I can do the $300 and pay immediately tomorrow morning. Is that fair? And then uh, he didn't reply back. You know, I was going to reach back out to him in a few days. So he reached back out today. Hey, are you still buying phones? Yes. Did you want to still sell the XR? Yes. I'm actually meeting a couple people at the Starbucks on College Street today at 5. Does that work for you? I don't get off till 6. And you know, I was just like, when can you be at Starbucks? At 6. And then it got cracked. All right? So I went and I figured out the price difference. And uh, then I came back. So I'd be pretty upset at this price myself, but I can only pay $200 when it's cracked. Okay, that's fine. Okay, let's meet at 6 then, and I'm meeting him at 6 o'clock. So, I'm going to kind of break this down a little bit, right? Um, there's some different negotiation strategies in this. Um, I use quite a, quite a few thing, little things from the course. Um, you can kind of follow it however you want um i mean 
this is just one of the negotiation strategies that is used. Um, there's a whole lot more mindset that goes into it, right? Um, but these are kind of little nuggets that I'm giving y'all. So, um, what I re- what I really want to point out right here is when I said, so I'd be pretty upset at this price myself. I'm leveling with him, you know. If I had an iPhone XR, and some and it was just cracked, you know, you know, I bought the damn thing for seven hundred and fifty dollars, right? I think I should at least get four hundred for it. So I leveled myself. I thought about where he was coming from, and I was like, I'd be pretty upset at this price myself, but I can only pay two hundred dollars when it's cracked. And he said that's okay. You know, like you have to look at it from their point of view. And you will close so many more deals that way. All right, so let's talk about the meetup. So whenever you go to meet up with somebody, what you want to do is meet up with them and um, you want to meet up, right? You go in there, say the phone isn't in the condition that he said. All right, so say the iPhone XR is not only cracked, but the LCD is messed up as well. All right, so, you know, you look over the phone, you check it out, you check everything, as long as it's, you know, still working, the screen's still working and everything. So you bring it up. Nobody wants to do it, but you know you have to. Hey, man, I thought you just said the screen was cracked. Oh, man, yeah, it is cracked. There's just a couple of black spots on it. Man, I totally understand, but that that that's the LED the LED that's messed up. That's a little bit more expensive to fix. I'm gonna have to, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to bring the price down a little bit. I mean, I'm sure you understand. He's like, you can't do the 200. Man, I really wish I could. I mean, it's a great phone, but I mean, with the LCD messed up, that makes it a whole lot harder for me to sell. And. Uh, you know, you just got to, they, they'll eventually understand, right? If they won't, back out of the deal, you know? Um, he's not going to be able to sell it anywhere else. He's probably going to sell it to you. He's, I mean, Eco ATM is only going to offer like 100 bucks for it. So, I mean, if the LCD is messed up, I'd offer like 140 So, So, the next thing, you get him to buy, you sell, or you buy the phone, right? What you want to do is you want a bill of sale, now, in David's course, um, I actually have his bill of sale. He paid $1,000 for it, so I can't exactly give that out. But here's a couple of different types that you can use and just change up to fit your own need. I think I actually used this one for quite a while. Um, I did. Yeah, this is the exact one I used. But, of course, I would definitely use David's. Um, but that that's in the course, so we don't have to talk about that. I'm here to give you all some free information. So, All right, so... Right, we buy the phone, take it home, and we list it. We're gonna go list it right now. We're gonna go to eBay. We're gonna take a few pictures. Uh, oh, look at that! I had an iPhone XR sell today, so let's check that out. So here we go. Now I want to show y'all what I put in my description. Here we go. My description is kind of large, right? Um. I say, no iCloud account, find my iPhone is off, screen is good, digitizer is good, blah, 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 right? It's kind of like a checklist of things. You can also use this whenever you're buying the phone. Uh, the item has wear and scratches and marks from use, but is in good condition. And what's included? Phone only. Make sure you tell them that. Because if they don't read the description, which a lot of buyers don't, they're going to expect that they're getting a full box full of accessories and the phone. And then, this next part is to kind of deter scammers. It's, uh, you're only going to ship to the eBay address that is provided. You will not change the address. And then, you're just talking about your reputation after that. And, uh, asking them to leave good feedback. And, uh, please understand that you are buying an item that is used. Make sure that you put in all the details that need to be added. No matter what... You know, don't think that you can just ship the item out and they're just going to miss it. You know, you always have to try to over-exaggerate the condition of the phone. That's what I do, 
right? This phone actually doesn't have a whole lot of wear and scratches from marks on it, but I say it does anyway, right? Um, strive to cover all angles of the item accurately. Uh, please examine all the pictures closely. Items will ship within two business days. 48 states only. Payment is immediate. So that's all there is on that part. Um, and then you just sell the phone. Right? You just ship it out. So, um, oh, look at that. Check that out. I already got a comment. Boom. Sent me a PM. Where is it at? Uh... That's how quick this happens, guys. It's crazy. I'm trying to figure out what chat that's in. Sorry, I got a couple of different Facebooks. Let me find this one for y'all. Nope, that's not it. Just hang with me real quick, guys. I know y'all's time is important. Ha, huh, here we go. New message request. Do you buy iPhone 6 Plus? I sure do. Are there any issues with it? All right, so, I mean, I, I got an, a lead that quickly. Isn't that crazy? So, I might upload the... Uh, the full conversation later on but uh yeah that's how it's done guys um i hope this helped out um and i hope you guys make some sales off of this all right y'all have a great day